Certain areas of the West are especially at risk to wildfire. They're called urban wildland interfaces or the transition zone between urban and unoccupied land. Blue Diamond is a good example, a developing area that's right outside of Red Rock National Conservation Area. I wouldn't be surprised if the brush around here in and out of the village uh, catches fire. If there's a fire, there's a fire. It happens. For Blue Diamond locals, an all-volunteer fire department would help protect the town if a fire were to break out. Got to keep your eyes open. People should try more to watch out what they're doing. But it's not just Blue Diamond. Mount Charleston is another risky area, as we saw firsthand with the Carpenter One fire in 2013. But research shows more of us need to be aware of the danger. Talk to me a little bit about that trend that you're seeing. The market doesn't really account for these risks very well. I spoke to UNLV economist Nicholas Irwin who studies natural disasters and real estate. He said there are no signs of slowing when it comes to developing fire-prone areas, even after a major wildfire. We see there's sort of a change in the pace of construction, but it's so small and we're building so many units in these high-risk areas that is almost insignificant. According to the U.S. Fire Administration, the urban wildland interface grows at a rate of 2 million acres per year. And here in Nevada, anywhere from 45 to 60 percent of our houses are built in that zone. Where this is going to matter for us, especially in southern Nevada, is thinking about risks uh, and future climate risks, because we know insurers will start to care about this a lot more. The risk of wildfire is difficult to calculate. There's a lot of factors at play, including wind, drought, moisture, and that risk can change yearly, monthly, or even daily. And the ecosystem you're in also plays a role, and it might surprise you, even our desert landscape is pretty flammable. It makes those fires that previously could have been burned out and much easier contained much more costly to us. Data shows wildfires are becoming more severe. Nine out of 10 of the costliest ones in our country have happened since 2017. But I, you know, I think that with climate change, it's, it's just the whole idea of it. It's a, a planetary thing and there's so many uh, downsides to it. While the Los Angeles wildfires burn in our neighbor state, the question here in Southern Nevada remains, how do we account for the demand for housing while balancing the risks of developing in wildfire prone areas? Reporting outside Blue Diamond, I'm Geneva Zoltek.